Which of these two SADA to ID adapters is the fastest and the best? Is it the no name adapter that you can buy for around 10 US dollars and I've been using them on the channel for many, many years? Or is it the one from StarTech with the Marvel controller? And I got a lot of comments from you that I should be checking out this adapter. Performance absolutely matters. So we are running our Windows 98 installation benchmark. We're using a Western Digital 500 Blue, a fast SATA SSD and also a fast Athlon 64 3400 plus running at 2.4 gigahertz. So far we can see it's a close race, but there's a clear winner. So by the end of the video, we should know which one of these is faster. But of course, performance is not the only criteria. So we will take a close look because there are quite some differences between these two adapters. This one only has a Molex power connector, whereas on the StarTech we get a cable. We get a plug for the Berg. I used to call it the floppy power connector as well as Molex. So yeah, you have more options in terms of connecting it to your power supply. The no name adapter has a jumper for master and slave, but is missing an option for cable select. Whereas on this adapter, we have master slave and cable select. And later I will hook it all up onto a retro PC with an optical drive to test if all these configurations actually work. The no name adapter is a little bit easier in terms of plugging in the ID ribbon cable because it's got the housing here. On the StarTech adapter, you have to pay a little bit more attention with the orientation. There's a missing pin here, which lines up with the ribbon cable and a higher risk of bending your pins. So you have to be slightly more careful with the StarTech adapter. There's a bit of a design flaw with these no-name adapters. When you plug them in into the hard drive, you can see that there are metal pins, which I've covered up with tape and they can actually touch the casing and cause a short. And that's actually uh, quite concerning if you're not aware of that. So what I used was just some uh, tape and I covered these pins to avoid the uh, adapter from shorting out. On the StarTech adapter, they put in a little rubber block here. And that means if you plug it in, um, it just has enough of a, a, a cushioning so that the pins don't touch the hard drive. However, I still recommend that you apply some tape and cover over these pins. I've done that on another adapter I bought just like this, just to be double sure um, that you're not touching the back of the hard drive and causing a short. Let's check in on our benchmark and yeah, it's still a very close race. I fast forwarded a little bit further into the progress of the Windows 98 installation. So I think we will have to wait until the very end to find out which one of these is faster. Let's test the master slave and cable select jumpers. So I've configured the uh, SATA to ID adapter to master and the optical drive to slave. And we can see here in the BIOS post screen that yep, that works as expected. I swapped the drives. The optical drive is now configured as master and the hard drive is configured as slave. Let's see if that works. And yes, it does. Here we have the BIOS post screen. Let's test cable select. Both devices are jumpered to CS or cable select. And that means the order on the ID ribbon cable determines which one is master and slave. So the final device should be master and the optical drive slave. And we can see on the bias screen that works just fine. Let's swap the drives and with cable select, the hard drive should be slave and the optical drive should be master. And that's exactly what we are getting. So this worked really well. Now do note that the no name adapter also, the master slave jumper worked as expected, but it doesn't feature cable select. Also, both of these adapters support optical drives. So if you have a SATA uh, DVD drive or a SATA CD-ROM drive and you want to use it in a ID based retro PC, yep, not a problem with either of these adapters. So which one ended up being faster? And the difference is only four seconds. The no name adapter took five minutes and 48 seconds to install Windows 98 SE. And the StarTech adapter does it a little bit faster with five minutes and 44 seconds. 
I also ran the ATTO disk benchmark and we can see here that the StarTech adapter is faster. For example, when it comes to reading, it almost reaches 110 megabytes per second, whereas the no-name adapter does not reach 100. And when it comes to writing, the StarTech adapter up to 118.5 megabytes per second, whereas the no-name controller gets up to 113.7. So the StarTech adapter does benchmark a little bit faster. It's probably not gonna make much of a difference, but it's something we can definitely measure. And in terms of other differences, the StarTech adapter supports cable select, which the no-name adapter doesn't. You get the uh, cables for the Berg and the Molex power adapter, so a little bit more flexibility. And it's got the padding to make sure that the adapter doesn't short out uh, when it touches the back of the hard drive. And finally, StarTech, yeah, it's a very well-known brand. Um, you can buy it easily locally and you get local warranty and good support. It is more expensive, however, the no-name adapter you can get for around 10 US dollars, whereas the StarTech adapter probably, I had a look around between 20 and 25 US dollars is what you're looking at. Uh, in Australia, pricing was a little bit steeper, around 40 Aussie for the StarTech adapter. That one here, maybe 15 to 20, something like that. So yes, the StarTech adapter is faster and it has more features. Whether or not that's worth the premium, it's really up to you. So I'm asking you guys, what do you think about these two adapters? Do you use any of them? What is your recommendation? Is the StarTech worth the premium? Uh, let us know down below in the comments. Very interested to hear your opinion. And that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you found it interesting and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and you want to see more retro reviews. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you soon with another one.